We're here in Haverhill, New Hampshire, and we are looking at the second year stand of canary grass established with and without a companion crop. Uh, this topic is important because people often seed something with their perennial crops in order to suppress weeds and or to improve first year yield. The frustration with reed canary grass has been that the seed is very expensive and the plants are very slow to start. The slow start is okay as long as the plant gets established because it spreads by rhizomes and will eventually form a sod. And right here we see a, a really, it's a pretty good stand. This was eight pounds per acre of reed canary grass seeded in 2015, in uh, May 1st, and it's now the 18th of May, 2016. Walking ahead, we have reed canary grass planted at six pounds per acre along with red clover at six pounds per acre. You can see that the reed canary grass plants themselves are uh, a little bit smaller because of the competition, but the red clover is compensating for that. Eventually these plants will continue to, to thicken the stand and I don't expect the stands to be any different. The difference is that the first year yield from the red clover was definitely more and a higher quality than from the plot where there was only reed canary grass seeded. Now I'm gonna move over to where we used six pounds of canary grass and four pounds of Italian ryegrass. That's what we're looking at here. The Italian ryegrass certainly increased first year yield, but it was very competitive. And uh, we see that the um, canary grass plants are smaller than either uh, the plot where the red clover was used or where it was planted alone. So <clears throat> I think overall this is going to come along, but certainly the first cut yield is going to be low. And it raises the question of uh, pay now or pay later. So you put a companion crop in that's too aggressive or you can't manage it properly. That might result in your second year first cut being lower. So what did you really gain by putting in that companion the first year? So it's worth considering. We're gonna go ahead a little bit and compare this uh, Italian ryegrass companion crop with what happened when we used an oat pea companion crop instead of the Italian ryegrass. So this, in 2015, when this was seeded, we put in six pounds of reed canary grass, 80 pounds of an oat pea mixture, The reed canary grass itself definitely looks more vigorous in this plot than it does in this plot where Italian ryegrass was used. And the same thing can be said if we go ahead, we'll see the reed canary grass, which was planted with 80 pounds per acre of spring triticale as a companion crop. The spring triticale did not seem to hold back the Reed canary grass nearly as much.